Hey guys, today we're going to show you how to add a PAB device to your Profilux 4 and Standalone Doser 2.1. For those that aren't familiar with what a PAB device is, it's basically a GHL device that communicates with your controller or doser through the use of a PAB cable. The PAB system itself is a CAN bus system which allows for seamless communication between a chain of PAB devices. This system uses the master-slave principle where the master unit is always the Profilux controller or standalone doser. All of the connected PAB devices follow the commands given by the master unit. It is this method of communication that allows the P4 controller to interface with devices such as the PowerBar 5.1, Profilux Touch Display, Vortec Controller, Doser 2.1, and more. For those with a standalone doser 2.1, it is this PAB system that allows you to add additional dosing units to your setup. As you will find on your PAB device, there are two PAB ports which are used for connecting to other PAB devices. Anytime you want to add a device such as a doser or vortex controller, you have the option to connect that device to either an available PAB port on the primary device or to an available PAB port of another PAB device. Here's a quick example of what a connected PAB system looks like. As you can see, PAB devices can be daisy chained off of another device. The only devices that must be connected directly to a P4 are power bars and expansion boxes. Those with multiple power bars and or expansion boxes must either have their power bar or expansion box daisy chained off of their controller or another power bar or expansion box. It's super important to make sure that the connected PAB devices never create a loop. That means that the last PAB device must always have an unused PAB port. With that said, let's get started. Go ahead and connect your new PAB device to an available PAB port. If this new device is a PowerBar 5.1 or PowerBar 6D PAB, make sure to connect it to either the P4's PAB port or to an existing power bar. If this new device is an expansion box, please connect it directly to the P4's PAB port or to an existing expansion box. If this PAB device has its own power supply, plug it in. For the purpose of this video, we will be assigning a Slave Doser 2.1 to the Profilux 4. Keep in mind that the steps that follow will be identical for assigning all PAB devices. With the PAB device connected, connect to your device, go to the System Settings page, and click on Assign Devices. The window that pops up will display your current list of PAB devices that are detected by the controller or standalone doser. Devices with a check mark indicate that the device is already assigned. Unassigned devices and new devices will be listed but unchecked. Check the box belonging to the device you wish to assign and click OK. Click Yes to assign the PAB device, then reconnect to your primary device. Once connected, go back to the System Settings page and click on the little plus icon right beside PAB. Doing so will display all of your connected PAB devices, including your newly added device. If this is the first doser or power bar being added, no need to proceed any further as the numbering will be set by default to 1 through 4 for the doser and 1 through 5 for the power bar 5.1. At this point, you will now be able to program the behavior of your newly connected device. For those adding additional dosers or power bars, be sure to assign the numbering for these devices by selecting the device and clicking on Configuration. If you are adding a second doser, the numbering for this doser would begin at 5. If this is a second power bar 5.1, the numbering would begin at 6. If additional dosers or power bars are added, the numbering for the new device will continue on beyond the respective pumps or sockets already assigned. Remember, you can have up to 16 dosing pumps and 64 controllable sockets on your P4. The numbering between dosing pumps and power bar sockets are independent. 
dosing pump numbering is automatically assigned to the dosing pump channels and power bar numbering is automatically assigned to the socket numbering. Once the numbering has been assigned, click OK. Doing that will assign the numbering to the respective dosing pump channels or socket numbers. Thanks guys for watching this video. Subscribe to our channel to get updates on new tutorial videos. If you'd like to see certain how-to videos, let us know in the comments section below. If you have any questions for us and need further support, you can always reach out to us on our GHL support forum or by email at info at